It was tough, um, very, very challenging. It was chaos. <laughs> I think it really, it's really a test of not just emotions, but also your marriage, right? You know? Hi, I'm Faith and I am a uh, account manager. I have a daughter, she's turning four this year. Hi, I'm Lilin. Um, I'm currently a stay-at-home mom and I have a soon-to-be two-year-old baby girl. Hi, I'm Sneha and uh, my son is two years old and I work in tech. The challenges of motherhood really caught me by surprise. La. I thought that I know everything because we, we always thought that you know we are very prepared to go into motherhood but it really threw us off you know whatever we thought we knew. It was a mix of tiredness, pain, feeling lost and not being able to you know understand what I need to do or try to be this amazing mum uh, and a new mother. You know, the moment we took her back from the hospital, the first thing we have to deal with is really the lack of sleep. And then of course, breastfeeding your child, making sure that your child is fed. And when the baby is crying, right, you really don't know what to do. It's again an overwhelming emotion of worry, stash, excitement. On top of that, there was mum guilt, right? How come I'm not enjoying this? You know, all the other mums, they're like, oh, baby's so cute, you know, they're enjoying that time of life. I'm just like, I'm struggling here. You know, I just can't bring myself to enjoy this phase. <laughs> that was very tough. It was a desperate call for help. I knew I needed somebody in person to handhold me through the process and walk me through it. Because trying to handle a new baby that is like so small and so fragile and not being able to, you know, understand what I need to do. It just drives you crazy, like, what kind of parent am I that I cannot even take care of my baby and know what my baby wants? So uh, about four or five months, I, I googled um, for somebody in Singapore that I could talk to in person versus, you know, reading online materials. Zoe's name popped up and it said sleep and that was my magic word, sleep. And I was looking at the website and I was just looking at all the amazing stories of babies sleeping like after like one, two weeks through the night. And I said, I need to talk to Zoe. More than anything else, I said, I need Zoe. So in my mind, you know, if I had to pay for something, I might as well pay for the best. It's like the best money that you can ever buy to buy back your sanity and your sleep, right? And, and your life back. And since then, it's been such a relief to our entire family. And I've never looked back. Life has changed. It's been beautiful. Engaging Zoe when my kid was just like five weeks old and by week eight she was able to sleep through the night. It was such a relief really like it took about maybe two weeks for her to really get into the, the routine and settle in before she was able to you know comfortably independently sleep on her own. And we were much more well rested, we were happy parents, we know exactly what to do, we know why she's crying. We can sleep early, we get the rest that we need also. And my life is different now. It's very, very different. Being a new mum, not having a support system. It was tough, um, very, very challenging. But having to first, that first night of sleep when I slept for eight hours, Zoe changed my life. And she made motherhood uh, the way it is for me today. And I'm always very thankful to her. Just an inspiration to to other mums out there. I wish more parents can get to know the amazing work that she's doing, the amazing things that she's helping parents. And then just encouraging us along the way and trusting us. But also helping me chart out this new um, journey. <laughs> Sorry, emotional again. 